Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. We got welcome to the backyard again. Uh, we got a big show for you early this morning. It's a beautiful day here in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, we're going to cook a mountain man breakfast today. Uh, I don't know how many people will join us live, but hopefully they can watch this um, this presentation as we go along. What we're doing today is we're cooking a uh, breakfast casserole in our Dutch oven. And uh, we've got uh, a crew coming in today to do some uh, beautification project in the backyard. Um, I'll try to scan around over here. Uh, they're pouring our pad today. I don't know if you can see that with the sun in your face. Pouring our pad today for the future home of the gold, uh, of the wooden spoon um, outdoors kitchen. This is where hopefully in the future we'll be doing our uh, broadcast from. We're having a, um, hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining early this morning. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get right into this because uh, the last time, it's been a, several weeks since we've been on board uh, with another video. And the last time uh, I had a couple comments that I got boring. Um, so evidently it was they didn't uh, last long enough to see the two-step boogaloo, but today we're cooking this mountain man breakfast. <clears throat> and what um, what I'm doing is is this crew that's coming in to pour the concrete, they had to rearrange their schedule basically to um, help me uh, get my schedule in place. So I thought the least thing that I could do is to uh, to cook them breakfast. And so we're doing a mountain man breakfast this morning. I've got my sausage on uh, already. I've got one pound of hot sausage. Uh, and again, if you're gonna make this recipe at home, you can use whatever you like, if you like hot sausage, or if you like mild sausage or whatever. Uh, but what I did is I started my pot up early this morning with some charcoal underneath. Um, <clears throat> got my sausage browning right there. Uh, I, like to, I like to start with my pot um, at least hot or warm. I don't like to put um, food in a in a cold pot. So now that the um, sausage is good and brown, I'm going to start adding the other ingredients for this Mountain Man breakfast. And uh, we're going to have a good time. And then once we get uh, everything in place and ready to go, then our uh, our crew is going to eat uh, breakfast sometime. Hopefully. Uh, either before or after they pour the concrete and just have a great time. I thank everybody for joining. I do uh, I do appreciate you taking time to watch. And again, we're just having fun in the old backyard. Um, this is episode three, I think, of Backyard Cooking with Raji. And um, we do appreciate everybody joining in, especially early this morning. It's a beautiful day here in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to this show in this cook because I haven't cooked a mountain man breakfast in quite a while. Uh, this particular recipe feeds about 10 people, uh, depending on the size portions that, that everybody uses. So it's kind of hard for me to cook that when it's just me and my wife here. Um, and so I, I get this opportunity to, to feed this crew that's coming in, thank them for, uh, adjusting their schedule, but also to, uh, to have an opportunity to cook here, this mountain man breakfast. And again, this can be cooked in your oven or outside or whatever. And I'll go along and I'll try to give you the recipe as we go along. So I'm gonna switch the camera for just a minute um, so that I can kind of show you and tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do as we go along. And then I'll pick the camera back up. Um, I, I am looking for a uh, device that will actually have opportunity for me to uh, to use to hold my cell phone as we're going live. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start adding the other ingredients at this point. Um, I've got in here. I've got um, onions, bell pepper and some garlic that I diced up last night, trying to get it ready to go. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that right now to the um, to the sausage and let that start 
marinating and getting happy. Um, so I also a, another tip, ladies and gentlemen, when you're using a Dutch oven or when you're using something uh, coated, any kind of coating, uh, you want to use a, a wooden spoon um, because a, a metal spoon will basically um, eventually, as you start moving it around, and you, you'll scratch the surface of your Dutch oven or of your uh, nonstick surface. So I, I'm using a wooden spoon, and therefore that's hopefully the name of our uh, outdoor kitchen that we're going to do is the uh, is the wooden spoon. I've got a slotted spoon and a regular wooden spoon that we're going to use, uh, and you'll see me uh, pretty much turn this quite often, uh, just so that everything is uh, doing what it needs to do. Now, what I would normally do at this point, and I'm going going to go ahead and do, is now that I've got a good uh, hot pot and the coals underneath the bottom, I'm going to add some coals to the top to create the. Uh, uh, the oven also I forgot to put in um, my tomatoes as well now this recipe there's a lot of variants in this recipe you can do whatever you like um, I'm a mushroom person but my wife don't like mushrooms so sometimes I do what my wife wants me to do and not put mushrooms in but I took a, a can of diced tomatoes I drained them uh, so I'm adding that. So now that now what we've got in the pot is the um, the brown sausage, and I used hot, uh, and you can use mild if you would like. We've got uh, one full onion that was diced, and one green bell pepper that was diced, and two cloves of garlic uh, that we chopped up and diced up, and then one can of drained. Uh, tomatoes. So I've got that in there. I'm going to put the lid back on and then I'm going to add some uh, potatoes here in just a little bit once I get the onions and peppers cooked down uh, for a little bit and then we'll put some potatoes on there. Let them uh, let them get good and hot and brown and then as it cooks then we'll add the eggs and um, to top it off at the end we'll add the uh, cheddar cheese let that get good and melty and then ladies and gentlemen um, that's going to be a breakfast casserole called mountain man breakfast uh, right here in jackson tennessee and i hope the uh the crew that's coming in i hope they like what we cooked today we've got some um biscuits or not biscuits but croissants and everything uh to go along with this but uh it's a beautiful day here in jackson and uh, you can already start hearing and smelling all of that coming together. Uh, the, the peppers and the onions and tomatoes and the garlic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an awesome breakfast casserole. If you, if you want to try to put it together, um, you, can do, you can actually Google a, a recipe for Mountain Man breakfast. Uh, I do mine in the Dutch oven outside. Uh, I have cooked it inside, but it just... Um, it just doesn't seem like the same if you're trying to do a mountain man breakfast uh, because I like cooking outside. I like using my Dutch oven. And again, the uh, the golden or the wooden spoons, uh, it just seems like that just helps with the uh, overall presentation, the overall cook of this. And uh, I just I just love it. Uh, I, I haven't put any seasoning in it. You can also put seasoning in it if you like. But again, so what you can do is this this recipe is so uh, versatile that you can adjust it to anything that you want to again I'm trying to get into the details because I don't want to be boring and put somebody to sleep and then uh, get a comment of I was boring uh, for this show but uh, again I'm not going to do the two-step boogaloo today we're going to just cook and we're going to show you hopefully the finished product here and um, and just have a great day Again, we're uh, coming to you live from Jackson in the backyard, um, backyard cooking with Raji. I think it's episode three. Uh, our last episode, we had close to 300 views, uh, which is amazing. I'm sure some of you that uh, have watched these videos probably watched it two or three or four times in order to get those numbers because I didn't uh, never think I would have that many people watching. But 
Uh, we're going to add a few more coals to the top. I've got a, um, a chimney um, with some hot coals in it right here. And I'm just going to put a few more at the top uh, so that that kind of creates the, the total um, heat. That one didn't make it. Give it a little bit more heat from the top as well as the bottom. Normally I'll put about 8 to 10 on the top and I've got about oh, 8 or 10 on the bottom. I'll probably reduce that number um, a little bit longer, a little bit more when we get to, um, to adding the eggs because I don't want the eggs to stick to the bottom. Now again, in this Dutch oven I had preheated, but I also uh, oiled it down real good with, a, uh, with, with extra virgin olive oil, EVOO as I call it. And um, I, I got it preheated and so that it, it, will, uh, it will not be a, um, a cold pot going in. I still got a few extra coals here that I can add along the way if I need to. They're good and hot. Uh, but so now that we've got everything in there, uh, the way we want it, we're going to just give that just a, uh, a minute or two to cook from the top and bottom and let, uh, let the onions and peppers and garlic and everything mix in with the um, hot sausage. Now, I did not drain the sausage because I like cooking in the uh, sausage grease as well. You can drain the sausage if you'd like. Um, just make sure because it's going to be good and hot. Uh, make sure you have a... Uh, metal container or something that you can put it in to cool it off before you dispose of it. Uh, but this is going to be a great opportunity for me to get back in the hang of cooking this mountain man breakfast. <clears throat> I can't wait. I'm uh, really excited about our, uh, our little pavilion type thing that we're putting in. And they'll be here this morning to, uh, to pour the concrete and, uh, and then we'll go from there and uh, eventually our, our show uh, whenever it may be, we'll be coming from what we're calling our uh, wooden spoon outdoor kitchen. I think it's what our, we may we may adjust that, but the wooden spoon is going to be in there somewhere. Uh, because I do use uh, wooden utensils for my cooking, uh, especially with the Dutch oven. Now, when I'm doing grilling and smoking and something else, um, I probably won't use a lot of wooden, wooden uh, mm -hmm. products, but... For this, I do just to protect the coating, and um, so we're in good shape. You can already smell it. You, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to turn this around right quick. Hope I am looking for that product. And, and the last time I looked, it was it was out of uh, <coughs> out of uh, order at this point on back order. But I'm still looking for it. This is what we got. We got about 12 coals under the bottom, and eight or ten on top. And you can see the smoke coming up inside the pot. We got our sausage. We got our uh, bell peppers and onions and uh, some garlic and some tomatoes. And they're all getting all happy here. We're going to cook that for another five or so minutes. Uh, and then, then we're going to add the potatoes. We got a, um, a bag of diced potatoes. Now, again, you can use uh, potatoes that you've cut up. You can use sliced potatoes. You can use hash browns. Uh, you can use whatever potato that you like. And again, anything that I try to do with, with this recipe or any recipe that I use, I want you to adapt it to what works for you. Um, just to, to, in order for me to save a little time, because I knew it was going to be early this morning, I went ahead and got diced potatoes. Uh, and it's a, it's a, they come in an individual bag, and there's probably, I don't know, a a pound, pound and a half of potatoes, but we're going to put that in there. Uh, we're going to let that go in with this. And uh, so if you'll give me just a second, I'm going to go take uh, the lid off and add the potatoes in, give everything a stir, and then we'll be ready to go. I know somebody said, and I did not realize it until I went back and watched the, uh, the video myself, uh, that I often say, ladies and gentlemen, and I, and, and I do say that, and I don't mean anything by it. I'm just excited most of the time when I'm when I'm talking about it, and that's one of those catchphrases that you you kind of say, um, I guess unknowingly that everybody has something that they say. But um, hopefully you don't mind me saying, ladies and gentlemen, because I, I do that without even thinking about it most of the time. 
And uh, for those that I made uh, go to sleep last time and uh, uh, was, you know, was born with my presentation, I apologize. Hopefully today will be better. And uh, so give me just a second. I'm going to take the lid off and add these potatoes and give you a shot of what we're looking at. And um, hopefully it'll be uh, Sir Triton has now joined us. If I can keep him away from this because it's good and hot this morning. Uh, so I am, I'm going to put this back on and turn the camera back around. One of these days I'm going to get to the point that I have uh, everything in place so that I can do this without any, uh, without any interruptions of, of the video. So if I can just get my lid lifter up underneath here and get this lifted up. connect the way I wanted it to so I'm going to add my hand to it at this point so that I don't spill it there you go now I feel a little bit better about it all right so oh my goodness this is looking so good and the smell I wish you had smelled uh, on your camera or on your computer whatever it is that you're watching me from let me give you just a look at this right here ladies and gentlemen pardon me for moving around here but that is what we got going on right now. Tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, garlic, and sausage. All simmering right here, just over a bed of coals. And uh, this is coming together really nice. So now we're going to, um, we're going to add our potatoes. I don't know if I turned that around or not. No, I don't think I did. All right, so now we're back where hopefully we're supposed to be. We're going to add this bag of potatoes in here and get that a good mix. Again, like I say, I, I prepared everything last night uh, pretty much so that it would be a smoother flow this morning uh, for me. I've got the potatoes in there. I'm going to give it a good stir, uh, get a good mix. And that's going to sit there and cook for um, another 10 to 15 minutes probably. Um, get it all mixed up and give that an opportunity to uh, to marinate in there together. I'm going to turn this around now that I've got it all mixed up and show, show you what it's like. There's my potatoes added to it. And uh, you can already see that it's starting to uh, get the juices and everything from the sausage. And folks, this is going to be uh, a great breakfast. I hope this crew that's coming in, uh, I hope they like hot sausage. I hope they like some of the, uh, some of the ingredients that, uh, that we're using. And uh, when I told them that I would be cooking for them, they were all excited about it. All right, I got my lid back on there. So now I got to put my coals back on, give it that top, uh, give it that heat from the top. Ooh wee. Just that short time that that lid was resting on that, on that, uh, on the tongs here, that kind of lit my world up right there. But uh, if you have family coming in and you like to do uh, a breakfast, or if you have, you know, a gathering, it doesn't have to necessarily be family, uh, friends, or whatever. This is a really simple recipe that you can use. Uh, again, this particular. It's an all-in-one meal, basically, mm -hmm. uh, to where that everything that you need for the breakfast uh, itself is, is in there. You got your meat, you got your potatoes, uh, you got some vegetables to go with it, and uh, of course you got cheese and stuff like that as we'll add to that uh, here in just a little bit. But this is this is a simple recipe. Um, now I'm going to use a dozen eggs, uh, beat those up pretty good, and then we're going to let this cook and, and then put the cheese on right before we get ready to take it off. The good thing about cooking in the Dutch oven and, and with a hot pot is that cast iron holds that heat 
uh, it's a, it's, it, it, it allows you to uh, serve your product or serve your meal hot and also stays warm for a good period of time without having to put it on a, a, a burner or anything like that. So um, it's, I, I really enjoy cooking with, with the Dutch oven and uh, with everything that you're pretty much able to do, um, anything that you can do in your regular oven, you can pretty much do in a Dutch oven. And uh, I've cooked several different things um, over the course of my time cooking. And uh, this this particular one, this this uh, Mountain Man breakfast, I'm just glad I've got an opportunity to cook uh, in the backyard again uh, with uh, Backyard Cooking with Raji is the name of this. And uh, I do appreciate everybody joining. I know usually I, I'm able to see... I think I can't tell who's who's joined. I, I, I think I've got uh, five, four or five. I don't. I can't. For some reason, I can't see it this morning. Uh, that's online. Sorry, I'm not able to call your name out. Uh, but I do appreciate you joining us, and uh, we're having a great time getting everything ready to go. Uh, we got the the uh, everything in the pot except the eggs and cheese. And we'll put that on here in just a little bit, giving everything uh, a little time to. Basically, we're trying to set this up for about a 350 degree temperature. Um, and when you're trying to equal that out, normally you'll put uh, less coals on the bottom because you don't want everything to stick and more coals on the top. Uh, but, and I will, once I add the eggs, I'll probably take some of the coals off the bottom. Uh, this particular Dutch oven doesn't have the, the legs that some Dutch ovens have. So I've got my pot sitting directly on the coals. Uh, a lot of times I'll have a uh, elevation point or something underneath of there to where that that heat can circulate all around. Uh, again, one of the things that you want to do uh, when cooking with the Dutch oven is to rotate your pot so that uh, you don't create uh, hot points or hot spots, so I forgot to do that a while ago. So just I would do a quarter turn of, of the bo of the bottom, and then a quarter turn in the opposite direction with the lid. Ooh wee! That aroma smelled good just then when it opened up. Uh, but yeah, you you keep doing that so that you don't create uh, hot spots, and um, you have a have a good seasoned pot all the way through. The seasoning from the pot, the more times you cook in it, the more it's gonna get seasoned, the more it's gonna uh, allow that to, to cook um, in a way that's uh, gonna be very tasteful. It adds that extra uh, seasoning from the from the cooking itself that, that has been cooked from time and time again. A lot of people don't like cooking in a Dutch oven because uh, of the cleanup afterwards. Yes, that is a uh, that is a concern. Uh, again, you, you just you basically clean it with hot water, uh, give it a good scrub with a soft bristle um, scrub pad or brush or whatever. Uh, try not to to scratch the surface of the the cooking uh, seasoning part of it. And then I normally after every time I clean mine, I I normally oil it back down and I'll shoot it in the oven. Um, for on a 500 degree temperature just to uh, let it get hot enough to, to burn that um, uh, coating off the olive oil that I put on there after it's over with and uh, just kind of burn that in and season it even more and then wipe it down and uh, and store it properly. Uh, Dutch ovens are not uh, friendly to colder temperatures um, because this, this is cast iron and when it gets cold uh, it just doesn't do well, so try to keep it stored in a uh, in an area that's going to be uh, at least heat controlled. And it doesn't have to be uh, a heated area or anything, but at least for that your your cast iron don't get extremely cold. Um, so we're about as far as we can go at this point. I'm gonna um, just gonna gonna let this happen, and then I want to. Uh, our, our crew will be here shortly. 
we're going to try to get everything set up for them. And uh, again, we do appreciate everybody coming in. Um, we talked about last time, especially with what's going on with the, the COVID-19, uh, we still uh, appreciate and do every day appreciate our frontline workers, uh, our, our doctors and our uh, nurses and uh, firefighters and ambulance, you know, servicemen and women. Uh, we still got a battle out there, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I know there's a lot of stuff going on um, outside of that that we have to uh, we have to address. We have to um, stay informed um, the best we can. We are, uh, you know, we we got good report. Uh, the last report that I've seen on our classmate, um, he's he's very much improved. Uh, he's still working through some things, trying to get his strength back. I think he's lost uh, quite a bit of weight during that period of time. Uh, he hasn't made it home yet. Uh, I think they've got him in a uh, rehab therapy uh, strengthening facility right now so that he can get his strength back. Um, we're thankful for everybody that had sent in prayers for our classmate, and uh, I, I'm so glad that he's doing well uh, right now. I know it's a, a big relief for his family, and uh, we, we just want to keep him lifted up in, in our thoughts and prayers, uh, if you will. Uh, one of my coaches, uh, dad, is also uh, had been tested positive. Uh, from Memphis, uh, Mr. Sanders, and um, I talk to Coach pretty much every day, just kind of keeping up with him and seeing how things are going. Uh, his dad was actually going in uh, for surgery for something else and found out that he had tested positive for, for the COVID vaccine, uh, uh, COVID-19 virus. Uh, so we, we got him lifted up in prayer, got him on a prayer list. Uh, and every day he seems to be getting stronger. They've got him quarantined, and I believe uh, his 14 days will be up uh, this week. Uh, maybe Sunday, I think it is, uh, will be his 14 days of quarantine. His dad said he's not running a fever. Um, he's not feeling the effects of it, uh, so things are, are really going good there uh, for, for Mr. Sanders. And... Uh, but folks, just get out, you know, don't be afraid to, to still do the things that we've got to do to survive and, and uh, you know, take care of ourselves as we go and uh, so that we can all get through this, uh, uh, this situation. <clears throat> we are, uh, I said all that to get back to our cooking. Man, this is smelling so good. Um, we're close to being ready to add the eggs. And um, I need to step off just a second. Need to uh, get ready to add the eggs to this because this is this is getting um, together real quick. Uh, Mountain Man breakfast, we, we've got everything ready to go. And then uh, when, the, when the crew gets here, we're gonna, we're gonna finish it up. I don't wanna hold you long, so uh, what I what I want to try to do is go ahead and get the uh, get you a, a shot of what we're at where we're at right here. I do appreciate everybody joining us. And um, hey, there it is. Hey, David, how you doing? David Craig joined me. Uh, Lori, Lori is watching. Hey guys, I appreciate you uh, joining us early this morning. Uh, again, this is backyard cooking with Rod G. We're we're uh, cooking a mountain man breakfast and uh, I don't know where all that information was a while ago when I was looking but maybe the sun had it blocked out or whatever um, in our pot we've got everything already in there we've got our onions and peppers and garlic and potatoes and tomatoes and uh, I use hot sausage um, and uh, so now we're getting ready to put the dozen eggs in there and let that cook for a little while and then put the cheese over the top of it uh, it's a one pot meal and, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, if you ever get a chance to either try it or make it yourself, you will be, hey, Joe, how's it going? You'll be, uh, you'll be excited for it. It's a good recipe for, um, 
for uh, family and, and friends if you have, uh, because I believe this will serve about 10 to 12. And uh, man, it is just smelling so good right now. Um, let me see if I can get you a, a shot of what we've got here. I'm going to try to do this. Oh, yeah, that's going to work right there. Ooh, wee, that smells good. Give it a stir right quick. Make sure we're not sticking anything together. Mmm, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is getting serious now. That, that right there is looking pretty good. Uh, pretty good vittles right there. Everything is nice and bubbly, and so it's, I think it's, uh, we're not far away from adding some eggs here, ladies and gentlemen. Putting this heat back on there and let it go. Um, so if you'll give me just a second uh, to, to get this back on there uh, and get the eggs, I'm going to have to step off over here because I put my eggs in the cooler off, off camera, so if you will, Give me just a second, I'll be right back. Thank you for joining us. All right, sorry about that. We had to go. Um, we're getting the eggs, everything ready. Hey, Norm, how you doing, Paul? Good morning, everybody. Coming to you live from the backyard here in Jackson. We're cooking a mountain man breakfast. Again, we've got a, uh, a crew coming in this morning that's going to pour our patio uh, for our uh, pavilion that we're going to put up called the the wooden spoon outdoor kitchen, I think, but we're, we're still working on the name. Um, but we've got we've got a um, casserole cooking right here on live coals. Uh, we've got I've cooked this several times in, in uh, over over the years. It's a, it's a mountain man breakfast. We've got just about everything that you can think of. Again, you can put. Whatever you like. Hey, Philip, how you doing, sir? Hadn't, hadn't heard from you in a while. Philip Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but you can put whatever you want into this casserole. I've got onions, peppers, garlic, tomatoes, potatoes. Uh, I use hot sausage. You can use mild. You can put uh, mushrooms. You can do whatever else you want. And then we're going to add about a dozen eggs. Uh, let that all marinate together and cook together and then once we get ready to right before we get ready to bring it off uh, we're going to top it with some cheddar cheese and let that get good and bubbly and brown and then uh, we're going to chow down ladies and gentlemen uh, we got some breakfast biscuits and uh, uh, croissants and everything got some strawberry jelly to go with it uh, folks i can't wait for the for the finished product once we get this all put together I know this video is running a, going to run a little bit long. I'd like to try to keep these to 30 minutes, uh, but it, it's no way. I think I'm already past 30 minutes at this point. Um, but just as soon as I get the eggs in place here, um, and my trusty assistant is now bringing me the eggs. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear. Uh, so now we're going to add a dozen eggs that we have uh, that she had cracked open for me and, and, and beat together. Uh, I forgot to do that before we went live. Um, so I had to step off camp, off of camera uh, long enough to ask her to do that for me. And so now we have added that to the mix. Uh, we're going to give again with our wooden spoon and this time I'm going to use the slotted spoon. I've got a slotted wooden spoon. Um, that has got rather hot sitting in this bed of coals down here. Uh, so we're going to give this a, a a mix around so that the egg is all the way through the mixture. Oh man, that is 
already coming together, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, uh, this is this is looking good. Oh yeah, it's been a long time since I've made this, and uh, I'm not I'm not bragging per se, but it's 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 sure looking pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're gonna put that on top. And like I said a while ago, I think at this point I'm going also going to uh, take a few coals off the bottom um, so that they don't get everything just real hot from the bottom. I'm going to take a few of these off, reduce the heat on the bottom so that uh, so that it just stays nice and nice and hot on the bottom without scorching and uh, and give this a opportunity to, to cook all the way through from top down uh, these coals are pretty much really small coals now uh, they've been cooking for about 30 35 minutes so they're good and hot I'm gonna set our pot back on there and let that all cook it won't be long now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you'll stay with me. Hey, Keith, how you doing? Good morning. Um, yeah, Keith, this, this Mountain Man breakfast is, is something that you need to try. Um, it is, it's an awesome recipe, and as much as you like to get out and, and uh, go to the cabin and everything, you can do this. This is awesome. You can cook it in your oven. You can cook it outside. Uh, I just enjoy cooking in my Dutch oven, and... Uh, uh, when it all comes together, man, it's it's a it's an awesome recipe. Again, I use hot uh, sausage, but you're you're able. I mean, once you create it the way you want to, uh, you can use mild if 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 hot is too much for you. Um, I use one uh, onion that I diced up, one green bell pepper that I diced up, two cloves of garlic, uh, one can of drained to, uh, diced tomatoes. And uh, one package of diced potatoes. Again, you can do that. Um, you can do your own potatoes. You can slice them, dice them, uh, do whatever you want to on it. Some people add mushrooms in as well. Uh, uh, and then I just put a dozen eggs in with it and let that all cook together now. Uh, and then right before we get ready to serve it, we've got a, a package of sharp cheddar cheese that we're going to add to it. Uh, let that melt down in there and... Uh, and then we're going to get it on. Uh, it's it's a it's a great uh, it's a great meal, especially if you got uh, several people that you want to feed at one time. Um, I think I made this. I'm not sure if I made this at my sister's house one time. Uh, she was having a, a family gathering, and 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 I I cooked several meals with my Dutch oven. And I don't remember if uh, Mountain Man breakfast was one of them or not. But uh, I cooked it. I've cooked this particular one probably more than I've cooked anything else with my Dutch oven. Uh, but it has been a while since uh, since I've cooked this one. So, yes, sir. Fire pit. Uh, I, I actually, of course, we bought just a store bought fire pit. You know. Uh, but I've got the tripod that I can set up around it and cook with live coals. Uh, I'm using um, charcoal today. When I first started talking about Dutch oven, I never uh, dreamed that uh, that you could actually cook with charcoal uh, in a Dutch oven. But I've made cobblers. I've made uh, uh, pot pies. I've made potatoes. I've made just about anything that you can make in your regular oven, you can make in a Dutch oven. Again, there's several different type Dutch ovens. Um, I've got, I've got Lodge. I've got uh, Emerald Lagasse. I think has, has a Dutch oven. Um, I don't know that there's a right or wrong Dutch oven to have. I got probably oh 20 pieces of uh, cast iron products, and they're not all Lodge, but most of them are. Um, and and the, the more that you take care of them and clean them and seize them. The thing with Dutch oven is that's there for you to cook with. They're not just decorations. Use those use those 
uh, cast iron skillets and, and, and the cast iron pots and the, the muffin pans and the, use those. That's what they're there for. Uh, and, uh, it's, 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 it's just, a it's a good thing there. So, uh, we've had that in there for a little bit. I'm going to check it. Uh, I'm not, may not be ready just yet, but I want to check it. Uh, probably need to stir it because it is starting to congeal together. Oh man. Yes, sir. I'm going to keep that scrape off the sides there. Give that a chance to, to bake all together. This is coming together. The eggs and everything is really getting about right. Um, I'm going to give you a, a shot of it here after I get it all. Man, you can just smell that all cooking together. That smells so good. Uh, one more shot right here. See if I can get it. But there you go. There's the eggs and everything right there together. Um, and this, once the eggs become uh, a little bit more firm, we're going to add that cheese to the top of it. Let that get down in there. And then we're going to um, do it upright. So I'm going to put the lid back on. Uh, again, I am looking for this, uh, that apparatus, whatever it's called, to um, to hold your phone and do the 360 and to do whatever that is. Uh, I looked at Amazon. They've got something, but it's online. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, back ordered at this point. Evidently, there's a lot of people making their own videos, and uh, I'm just thankful that I have an opportunity to. Uh, come to you again uh, this is episode three of backyard cooking with raji uh today is um kind of we, we got started a little bit early today because we got our uh, crew coming in here shortly that's going to pour the concrete um for our outdoor kitchen area and uh hopefully it'll come together the way we need for it too and in the next video maybe down the road if we have another one uh, if the good Lord allows us to put this all together, maybe we'll have another video down the road and, and, and we'll come live from the wooden spoon outdoor kitchen or whatever our name is going to be. Uh, but I, I do appreciate everybody joining us today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, those eggs are just about where we want them to be. I'm going to go ahead and put the, the cheese on there here shortly give you one last look at it because I don't want to tie up your whole morning uh, and then finish this off and, and, and uh, we, can, we can go from there. Again, if you need the recipe, uh, I've said it a couple times during, the, during this video, uh, if you need the recipe, uh, I will be glad to post it or, or send it to you, whatever. Uh, you, can, you can Google it. It's Mountain Man Breakfast. There's several different options. Um, and you just fix it the way you want to fix it, uh, what works best for you. Uh, I fixed it with, with mild sausage before. I fixed it with hot sausage before. Uh, either way, it comes out really good when, it's, when it comes together. Um, I'm not a big onion person per se, um, so I don't put maybe as many onions as, as most. I think on this particular one, I had a, a, a large size onion. Uh, and it calls for one full medium onion. So I did a half of one. Uh, I did a full bell pepper, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I think I did one and a half bell peppers because they were small. Um, but you, you put in there what you want. You season it the way you want to. Uh, and, folks, I'm telling you, you'll be glad you did. And, and, and your family and friends that you serve it to will, will be glad you did. Um, so... Uh, without going any further and holding you up very long, we're going to go ahead and take the lid off one more time. We're going to add our cheese to it, to the mix. Set this over to the side. And that is hot. Give you this look. I'm not sure if there's somebody joined late, but you can see how it's uh, good and hot and how it's coming together. And so now we are going to... Um, Get this packet of cheese, and we're going to add that to the mix right here, and we will be good to go here shortly. 
And again, if you have any, any comments or any suggestions or any recipes that you would like to see if I can try to make, um, I can't guarantee you that I would make it uh, the way you make it or make it taste the way you make it taste. But uh, I will definitely try. I'm not shy, so I don't mind trying, uh, depending on what it, <laughs> what it is as to whether or not I think I can make it. I'm not uh, completely skilled in everything, but I do like to try new new uh, new recipes. Oh, I should have showed you that before I... Let's see, there we go with the cheese on top of it. I don't know if you can see it because of the sun. Cheese is now on top, and now we're getting good and bubbly there. Uh, so now we're going to let that bad boy bake. Sorry, I had to move everything around. I think that's a reflection off my computer onto the, okay, well, uh, I, I do have a side table set up with some extra coal, so that's why I keep bending down, uh, getting the coals there. Uh, but we've got the good coals on the top. I'm going to probably add a few more at the top now since I have uh, added that cheese to it. I've got very few coals on the bottom uh, because we don't want it to stick. And uh, we're going to add these, these extra coals to the top just to get it uh, a good temperature from the top down so that it will um, it will melt that cheese and get everything nice and and brought together and if I can get that uh, finished up here shortly I would like to get you one more picture of it uh, to show you a finished product it might take just a few minutes so if you don't mind holding on and listening to me babble on. Um, then we will hopefully have a have a shot of a finished product here. We 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 let the cheese melt, and we we like for it to get uh, good and brown and good and toasty on top. And then um, it's just a matter of serving and and eating at that point. Um, you can top off your casserole with. Uh, with pecani sauce or or uh, some salsa or whatever, um, it, you know some people put um, hot sauce. I don't. I didn't put any hot sauce in this uh, because I use hot sausage. But a lot sometimes if, if people use uh, like a mild sausage, they have put a couple splashes of uh, of hot sauce in with it. It's all depends on what you like for for your breakfast. Hey, Coach Winders, how you doing, sir? Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, but again, this Mountain Man breakfast, it's a its a great recipe. It's a its an all-in-one pot uh, breakfast. It's a casserole. And uh, we're going to feed our, our crew coming in. That's uh, uh, my buddy Ronnie Sanders. Hey, Ronnie. We used to play ball way back in the day, uh, Ronnie and I. And uh, uh, I'm not going to say how long ago that was because that will tell our age. But I know we don't look what we... Uh, what our age is, but we used to have a lot of a lot of fun time playing ball together back in the day and going to school together in in uh, the big metropolis of Newbern, Tennessee. Uh, enjoyed that time very much. And uh, hey, Sandra, how you doing? Good morning. Uh, we're coming to you live from the backyard. We're cooking a uh, breakfast uh, for a, a group that's coming in to pour our patio today. It's a mountain man breakfast. We've got uh, just about everything in it that you can possibly put in it, or at least uh, items that, that we enjoy doing. Uh, <clears throat> we've got a dozen eggs. We've got uh, like a, um, a package of diced potatoes, a can of diced tomatoes that were drained. Um, uh, we got onions, bell peppers, and garlic, and cheese. I mean, we got the works here. Uh, we're just letting it all come together now, the eggs and the cheese. 
Uh, I don't know why. I apologize for the ones I missed earlier. Uh, I couldn't see the names as they was coming up, but I, I'm able to see them now. I think the sun got in a better location. Um, but we're about ready to, to chow down on this. We're, we're getting this uh, casserole together. We've got some croissants over here ready to go, uh, some strawberry jam. Or, and uh, so we're going to have a, a good breakfast and, and, you know, to start off a great day. Um, we, we're, we're just thankful that we have the day to do this. It's a great sunshining day here in Jackson. Uh, 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 you know, we had a couple of days of rain that we needed uh, on the first part of the week, but every day since then has been a beautiful day and uh, just, just able to get outside and hear the birds chirp and do things that we enjoy doing. Uh, and that's, that's where we're at now, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to keep doing the things that, that, uh, that we do and, and, and not afraid to do uh, so that we can continue to live our life the way we need to. And, uh, you know, we just, we just uh, we're not professional at this cooking. We just enjoy cooking. We enjoy um, sharing our ideas with others. Again, I, we talked about the wooden spoon. The reason I use a wooden spoon, especially with the Dutch oven, uh, is to protect the coating. Uh, and hopefully that's going to be the name of our outdoor area, uh, something to do with the wooden spoon, because uh, even though I, I grill and I, I smoke some, some every once in a while, uh, I enjoy cooking in the Dutch oven more so than, than a lot. Um, it just gives that extra flavor. And if you haven't ever tried Dutch oven cooking, man, I would suggest, you know, I'm not getting paid by Lodge or, or anybody that sells Dutch oven. Uh, I'm not getting paid by uh, Academy Outdoors or or, or uh, Cracker Barrel or anybody like that to promote their products. But a, a true cast iron, uh, if it's seasoned right, if you take care of it, man, that's some really good cooking there. You can cook with live fire. You can cook with uh, uh, coals, charcoals. I never mm -hmm. again thought that I could make a peach cobbler or, or, or a... Uh, chicken pot pie or anything using charcoal briquettes in, in one pot. And I made my own little uh, Dutch oven stand here so that I don't have to cook all the way on the ground. Uh, I just got an a aluminum or steel stool. I put a trough on it there to hold in the coals and just set it right in there. And it's, it's about the right height that I need. But uh, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, and you have never tried anything like that. I know uh, several on here that follow this program uh, goes camping, and uh, it's a great opportunity to to cook in the outdoors. I don't want the ash to fall down in there, so that's why I'm kind of. Kind of giving that a uh, a way to get out without me getting it down into the food itself. I'm gonna lift this off. We're about ready to go. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I said that a bunch, and I, I apologize, but that's just my catch word. I present to you right now the Mountain Man breakfast that we have prepared live right here in the backyard uh, from Jackson, Tennessee. And that is what we're talking about right there, ladies and gentlemen. That just happened, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, we're not doing the two-step boogaloo, but that right there would almost make you want to run around the yard and do a little two-stepping or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, hopefully I haven't bored everybody uh, to this and then that you've got some good information or got some information that you could use for what you like But right there ladies and gentlemen is what it's all about uh, So With that in mind, I think I'm gonna try to turn this around uh, Again, I do appreciate each of you uh, Joining me today. I know it was a little early broadcast um, If you didn't catch all of it, it'll be posted on my YouTube channel 
uh, backyard cooking with Raj E. Uh, this will be the third video that will go up. But I do appreciate each one of you uh, joining us. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to go without any cook uh, that I do without giving um, our thoughts and our recognition to our frontline workers, everybody that, um, that, that is in this together, the, you know, from the truck drivers all the way uh, to our servers in the restaurant, to our men and women on the front line, the doctors and the nurses and our, our service people. And uh, I know there's a lot going on, but we do appreciate each one of them. Uh, my daughter is a, a, um, is a nurse, um, a, a pediatric uh, nurse. And I really uh, appreciate the work that they do, especially with, with our uh, younger group and uh we do we we just want to give recognition to everybody that's still fighting the fight um so uh, again i hope you've enjoyed this this show and uh, i wish i could share this with each of you um but i do appreciate you joining me if you have any comments or suggestions or recipes uh send that to me i do appreciate uh everybody's input on this and uh, so until we get an opportunity to cook again, hopefully our next cook will be coming from our um, pavilion that we're putting in, pouring the pad today. Uh, and then next week we will install, hopefully, our uh, gazebo thing. And um, But until we get to cook again, we just ask you to stay safe and keep the coals hot. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.